Hello everyone, this is my second post in English today. I just heard the news of uh, a persecution against the Orthodox Church in Kiev, in Ukraine. Um, a monk has been arrested, put under house arrest and put on a uh, uh, an ankle bracelet. Um, he is under some kind of house arrest. Um, the uh, police or the military, whoever they were, there is some video um, and you can see him being arrested and uh, the ankle bracelet put on him and so on. They wanted to get in to uh, have an audit of the monastery and uh, the uh, faithful there would not let them in and uh, all kinds of problems. Okay, this is what is happening. It appears in the Ukraine persecution of the Orthodox Church, the closing down of monasteries there. For though I don't know a lot about it, I'm going to uh, try to study the history of it. But uh, um, the Orthodox Church in Ukraine and in 2018, that is before the actual war started, that was in uh, 2022, but uh, during the civil war between Kiev and the uh, Donbass region and the Russian speakers and so on, um, this one section of the Orthodox Church broke away from it, from the traditional church of the ages, and uh, started a new church. It is also called the uh, Orthodox Church of Ukraine, as opposed to the Ukrainian Orthodox Church, something like that. But this, mo this one uh, broke apart in 2018. And now the traditional one is uh, being closed down and uh, it seems that uh, they are the uh, government, it would appear, is trying to close it down and uh, transfer the, uh, the monasteries and uh, the treasures that might be there, whatever they are, either to the new church or to whoever. Hence, the closing down of the traditional monasteries and the arrest of this uh, monk in the Kiev Lavra monastery. So, um, there we are. As a Catholic, I consider the Orthodox Church a the same a sister church. I mean, they together, they were the Christian church during, they divided in, in, the, in the 11th century, I believe. Not on questions, uh, well, I won't go into some specific dogmatic uh, uh, issues of dogma, but I think it was more to do with East and West. So the church the Christian Church was divided between the Greek and the Roman. It was, for all intents and purposes, the same church, really. Uh, divided into East and West at the time Greece was part of the East, or so it was seen at the time. We share the same doctrine, sacraments, the councils, everything. Um, of course, uh, in the Catholic, in the West, in the Roman one, we have a Pope in the East, they have a Patriarch. Then it subdivided into the, uh, the Greek and the Russian Orthodox Church is still the same church under you know, different patriarchs, but still the same dogma, the same sacraments, the same everything. The Orthodox Church has been persecuted uh, tremendously as 
indeed the, the Catholic Church. But imagine the uh, <clears throat> the years of the Soviet Union. It was closed down. Um, it was illegal. And they endured that, and they came out now as you know, is um, people are going to churches. There is a, um, especially young people are going back to the church. In other words, it didn't die, even even though it had to be hidden and in basements or in whatever it was, you know, for uh, seventy years. There is a, an anecdote, I don't know whether you've heard this, and I don't know whether it's true, but I read it about Putin, as a matter of fact, <coughs> that Putin's parents had two children before him, and they both died. And uh, when Putin was born, his mother actually uh, searched for a priest, some hidden priest somewhere, to baptize him. And... Uh, and she succeeded. Um, tremendous the act of courage at the time because had she been found, she would have been obviously sent to jail at the very least. So anyway, the, uh, the Orthodox Church has, had, has been through some trials and tribulations. And now <coughs> their mon monasteries are taken over by the civil authorities, it seems, and again, under some sort of persecution. I don't know whether the optics are good here to, to have a traditional monk arrested for the Kiev regime that, you know, seems to worry about perception and so on. <coughs> so, uh, I would say to the Orthodox Church, I consider them my brothers and sisters, I suppose, just to say a word there. Um, they have been through this before and uh, once again. Mm. At the very least, my dear Orthodox, you're being attacked from the outside. And uh, in the Catholic Church, we're being attacked from the inside. So, there we are. Uh, Christianity and the siege, I guess. I wish you all the very best and I'll be praying for you. Thank you. Bye-bye.